I would say that it's probably easier to do a gear change and a differential than it was to put together this this uh, B what was it bomber uh, model a mess on my wife's table and she's going to kill me and uh, when you're trying to put little little wind Hey, it is Tool Talk again, and today we are going to do kind of a, uh, a little project with uh, dad and son. And what are we making? A plane. A plane. We're going to make a model plane, and we're going to talk about the tools we use. A lot of it's snapped together, but these, uh, some of these parts call for cement. So we thought we'd make a little time-lapse video. This isn't going to be like super drawn out or anything, but uh, I think we're going to make a pretty cool day of it, and it'll be a father-son tool talk day. You ready to do this? All right, let's show them how it's done. All right, so my son saw fit to take a break and go hang out with his friends. Uh, so I thought I'd take a second to talk about a few things that we've been working on here. Uh, techniques, when you are trying to wait for something to, to dry, um, the, the, the wall or whatever you're gluing will sometimes lean on you like kind of like that, but you can, so while it's still setting up, you can readjust it while it's, while it's getting harder and then fix that. So while you're doing models, it's good to go back and uh, re-attack what you're working on just so that you can get a, you know, line it up a little bit better. So everything's, these are all not sitting in there, they're glued in. So a few things I've had to go back while you've watched that and go back and reattack. Um, also, I wanted to make this uh, tool talk about how to build a model plane with stuff you have laying around the house. Now, I did go out and buy a bottle of my favorite brand, Gorilla Glue. Um, with uh, this is their super glue, super glue with a brush and nozzle. It uh, the brush is really handy for uh, stuff around the house, but it also is perfect. I bought this for the model plane, so we can just use the brush to to put that stuff on. The other thing is when you do have messes. You can clean them up with uh, regular nail polish remover from, from the wife or the girlfriend. Um, and if you don't have it, then you can just get these things and uh, make do with what you have at the house. We are not trying to do a you know top-notch, high-end uh, model build, but we are uh, just having some father-son time. And uh, after about, I think we were about 45 minutes to an hour into this, he's already checked out. You know, it is it is uh, uh, it is tough for a kid to sit around that long, which I was impressed he uh, he hung out with me for that for that amount of time. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep pressing with this build, or I'm going to uh, be here all week. And so um, stay tuned if you want to, and uh, we'll uh, we'll see how it looks when uh, we get it all put put back together. All right, so we glued the fuselage together, and it's 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 a fast drying glue. So we had to run down the seams, and then I just used like a a, a paper clip, one of those metal ones. Metal paper clip. And then I'm gonna tape the fuselage together in the spots that require some help because they won't stay together. So I'm going to add a little bit of glue to those areas and then use some tape to hold them together while it dries. That way we have strength in the back here. Because the rest of it's going to require us to have everything set up for us to put the wings on.
Hey, Shelby. Hi. Say hi to the peoples. This is my baby. My other baby. All right, man, how do you think we did? Okay. Okay, now tell people what we really think of it. <laughs> it needs some work. So uh, if you're gonna make a model with household super glue, uh, nail polish remover, some tape to hold the plastics together, a handful of uh, paper clips and a drill, so that you can attach some screws to the back end of the model so that the wings don't fall off. Uh, count yourself a success. I think uh, um, not everything can be uh, an, awesome, uh, an awesome outcome, but I think we had a, a lot of fun and just kind of goofed off and the, uh, the plane got put together. Uh, overall, um, the super glue leaves a white film on everything, so that's probably a no-go on the next one. Um, this stuff did not clean up as much as I thought it would, uh, so there's still a mess on my wife's table and she's going to kill me. And uh, when you're trying to put little little windows in and things like that, um, having some kind of real tool instead of a pin to kind of move the plastic around into, the, uh, into place would be better than um, all the glue on my fingertips. I have probably a boatload of glue. <laughs> if this thing will uh, focus. Um, so, overall, uh, this was a, um, what would you say, a semi-success? A semi-success? Um, but that wraps up another uh, edition of uh, Tool Talk, and uh, it pays to have the right tools. I would say that it's probably easier to do a gear change and a differential than it was to put together this this uh, B what was it bomber and uh, I'm in the Air Force I should know better but I don't remember what model it was so um, that's it that's all for this one um, stay tuned guys for the next video.